Welcome to the Holy Bible Daily, where we are reading through the Bible in one year. If you missed yesterday's reading, you can find it here on the channel. Be sure to come back tomorrow for the next day's reading. Today I am reading from Joshua chapters 14 through 15 from the King James Version Bible. And these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses, for the nine tribes, and for the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes, and an half-tribe on the other side Jordan. But unto the Levites he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, therefore they gave no part unto the Levites in the land, save cities to dwell in, with their suburbs for their cattle and for their substance. As the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses the man of God concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moses the servant of the Lord sent me from Kadesh Barnea to espy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance, and thy children's for ever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me, as my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, both to go out and to come in. Now therefore give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day. For thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron before was Kirjatharba, which Arba was a great man among the Anakims. And the land had rest from war. This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom. The wilderness of Zin southward was the uttermost part of the south coast, and their south border was from the shore of the salt sea from the bay that looketh southward, and it went out to the south side to Malahekrabim, and passed along to Zin, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karka. From thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt and the goings out of that coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast. And the east border was the salt sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan, and the border went up to Beth Hogla, and passed along by the north of Beth Arabah. And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. And the border went up toward Debir from the valley of Achor, and so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that is before the going up to Adumim, which is on the south side of the river, and the border passed toward the waters of Enshemesh, and the goings out thereof were at Enrogel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom under the south side of the Jebusite, the same is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Nephtoah, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron. And the border was drawn to Bala, which is Kirjath Jerem, and the border compassed from Bala westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along unto the side of Mount Jerem, which is Chesalon, on the north side, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out unto the side of Ekron northward. 
and the border was drawn to Shikron, and passed along to Mount Bala, and went out unto Jabneel, and the goings out of the border were at the sea, and the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah round about according to their families. And unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh, he gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, even the city of Arba the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Sheshai, and Ahiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Debir, and the name of Debir before was Kirjath Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kirjath Sefer, and taketh it, to him will I give Aksa my daughter to wife. And Othniel, the son of Canaz, the brother of Caleb, took it. And he gave him Aksa his daughter to wife. And it came to pass as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field, and she lighted off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land, give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs, and the nether springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the coast of Edom southward were Kabzeel, and Ader, and Jagger, and Kina, and Demona, and Adada, and Kadesh, and Hazer, and Ithnon, Ziph, and Telem, and Beeloth, and Hazer, Hadata, and Kerioth, and Hezron, which is Hazor, Amam, and Shema, and Molada, and Hazargada, and Heshmon, and Beth Palat, and Hazarshual, and Beersheba, and Bizjothja. Bala, and Eim, and Azam, and Eltalad, and Chesel, and Horma, and Ziklag, and Madmana, and Sansana, and Leboth, and Shilhim, and Ain, and Rimen. All the cities are twenty and nine with their villages, and in the valley, Eshtal, and Zorea, and Ashna, and Zenoa, and Inganim, Tapua, and Inam, Jarmuth, and Adullam, Soko, and Ezekah, and Sharaim, and Adithaim and Gedorah and Gedorothaim, fourteen cities with their villages, Zenon and Hadasha and Migdalgad and Delian and Mizbeh and Jokthiel Lakish and Boskath and Eglon and Cabin and Lahmam and Kithlish and Gedoroth, Beth Dagon and Nama and Makeda, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna and Ether and Ashan and Jifta and Ashna and Nazib and Keilah, and Ashjib, and Marisha, nine cities with their villages, Ekron with her towns and her villages, from Ekron even unto the sea, all that lay near Ashdod, with their villages, Ashdod with her towns and her villages, Gaza with her towns and her villages, unto the river of Egypt, and the great sea and the border thereof, and in the mountains Shamir, and Jatir, and Soko, and Dana, and Kirjathsana, which is Debir, and Anab, and Eshtemo, and Anem, and Goshen, and Holon, and Gilo. Eleven cities with their villages, Arab, and Duma, and Ishian, and Janum, and Beth Tapua, and Afika, and Humta, and Kirjatharba, which is Hebron, and Zior. Nine cities with their villages, Maon, Carmel, and Ziph, and Yuta, and Jezreel, and Jokdim, and Zenoa, Cain, Gibeah, and Timnah. Ten cities with their villages, Halhul, Bethsur, and Gedor, and Marath, and Bethanoth, and Eltakon. Six cities with their villages, Kirjathbal, which is kirjath Jerim, and Rabbah, two cities with their villages, in the wilderness, Betharba, Midin, and Sekaka, and Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and Engedi. Six cities with their villages, as for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out. But the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. Thank you for joining me for today's daily reading. I hope this reading has been a blessing to you and that you will pray, meditate, and think on the things we have read today in God's word. Please take a moment to like and share this daily reading, and if you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any daily Bible readings. Make sure to join me again tomorrow. 
and together we will be reading Joshua, chapters 16 through 17. Until then, may God's peace be with you.